Hi, I'm Bill Snodgrass, and this is episode 120. <clears throat> By request, in this video, I'm gonna do a uh, what's in my bag video. I'm gonna talk about three situations uh, and what's in my bag. First, I'm gonna talk about sports. Second, I'm gonna talk about uh, what I do when I'm going out to shoot video, like now. And third, what do I do when I'm going to do a portrait or a group photos or a portrait shoot or something like that. So, let's get started. First of all, what's in my bag when I'm shooting sports? First of all, I don't take a bag when I'm shooting sports. I just take a camera and I take the extra batteries. Um, I've got two extra batteries plus the, the battery that's in here. Um, I just take those. And, and there's, there's really no point in carrying the whole bag. I have found that over the years, um, I would carry the bag around the whole time and never, and never use it, never get anything out of it. I do use a hand strap when I'm, when I'm holding the camera. It's set up for a tripod now for video. Uh, and so um, this is the, 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 the mount I use. But when I'm shooting for, um, this just clips on here and this screws into the bottom. So I use a hand strap. I never really liked the neck straps, although there's nothing wrong with those. The camera body that I use is the body I have. I was very intentional about picking this body. It is the 77D, and the, the, the reason that, it, that I, I chose it instead of some of the other bodies that Canon makes is that it has um, um, unboosted ISO of um, 25600. So un, unboosted, just without turning any of the other features off. It'll go up a couple of more ISOs if you turn some things off. But 25,600, 25,600 is, is enough for the situations where, where I do most of my, my shooting. Um, it's still not much for the soccer field, but the, the gymnasium and even in the field house and the, and the, the, swim, the swimming pool area, I can get decent shutter speeds with this. So I, going into it this camera selection, that ISO was, was one of the main factors. You need that in, in some situations. The other thing it does, one four thousandth of a shutter, shutter speed one four thousandth of a second, which is great on a sunny day outside doing cross country, but um, so it has the, the range, I can, I can do a lot with it. The lens I use is a 55 250, and this is the important part, image stabilization. This is not a, a high quality lens. This is not an expensive lens, but it does have image stabilization. And for sports photography, that makes a huge, huge difference. So Canon has, in, in similar to this lens, they have a 7300 that is not image stabilization. I would highly recommend, if you can't get the 7300 with image stabilization, Go ahead and get the, the 55 250 with image stabilization. You're, you're gonna end up with better results. Now this is a, an EFS lens. The, the 7300 is an EF, but if you can't get the 7300 with image stabilization and you're shooting on a crop sensor, the EFS lens, this is gonna be a better choice for you. So uh, for sports, image stabilization is just that important. All right, so that's my sports setup. Camera, lens, I always put this on. I had someone ask me one time, they walked up and they're like, what's this for? And I said, that's to keep you from touching my lens. That's what that's for. Also, light flares, but you know. Um, so that's my setup for so this. I'll put in my pocket, I'll put my batteries in my pocket and I'm ready to go. There have been a few occasions when I was out shooting, I was like, man, I wish I had my portrait lens. The number of times that's happened though has been so few that um, taking the portrait lens and carrying a camera bag or even carrying, even carrying around a, you know, a little bag like this, um, it, it's, just not, it's just not called for. Most of the time I have a shot list, I need this, I need this, I need this person, I need that person. So to, to stop what I'm doing and you know, take a picture of that parent who is, you know, staring onto the playing field very artistically. Um, that's not really what I'm there to do. So if that's what I was there to do, I would carry the whole bag probably because that's why I am. I carry way too much stuff. That's my sports setup. Camera, lens, extra batteries, empty SD card, 
shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. I did a video on how I set the camera up for sports. Next thing I wanna talk about is what's in the bag when I go shoot video. I'm gonna quickly change the lens. All right, that was my lens change. This is how I go out to shoot videos. I take the iPhone, and this is my iPhone camera mount. And I've got it, I already got it on my, my Gorillapod quick release. So I have the iPhone and this guy ready to go shoot. And if I decide to use the Gorillapod on the other one, I bought a second of these ball heads from Joby. So I will set this up. Now, right now the iPhone is mounted on an old tripod I had back from back when my kids were little and we had a little Sony uh, camera. That's what it's on now. I have my old phone clip, but it's doing the job for this video. So iPhone, this guy, another piece of equipment that I always take when I go shoot video is a stabilizer for the iPhone. I have the, the Osmo. It won't work without the camera mounted to it. It gets very angry when you try to turn it on without the camera uh, in place because it's trying to get that weight balance. This is the Osmo One, the original Osmo Mobile. Um, there is an Osmo Two now, a Mobile Two. Uh, I saw a review of it from the guys at Moment Lenses, the guys at Moment Lenses, and they, they thought they were very, very similar. The Moment Two, the Osmo Two is a little less expensive than this was when it was new. So now you can find these guys uh, refurbished and rebuilt and, and, and gently used uh, for, for really, really inexpensive prices. And um, you can go on Amazon and find it. I've got a link to the this in the, everything that I'm talking about pretty much is linked down in my description. So the image stabilizer. If you don't know what, the, what a gimbal does, it allows you to move the camera and it keeps all of the camera motion very, very smooth. So that's that's what the gimbal does. And so as as your hand is is moving around, the motors and the sensors keep it. And so this has been amazing for some of the moving camera B-roll stuff that I've shot. Um, also, sometimes when I'm walking and talking to the camera, I'll use this. Uh, well, I got this in my hand. I'll talk about this pole thing. One of the things I don't like about it is that the, the tripod mount is here on the side. So you have to have an articulated ball head. And so, you know, you end up with this. So this is a, a pole for the, for the Osmo. So that's my gear for the iPhone. I, I recently upgraded to the iPhone 8 and I've been very, very pleased with it. It also has, it has image stabilization on the, the main lens and it has this, the the image stabilization which really smooths it out a lot i've, I've done some walking through the store b-roll stuff handheld just holding it in close and being careful getting great results all right so uh iphone now the audio on the iphone is really good except on windy days so um when as a rule I'm not planning on using the audio. It happens to be very not windy today, and so I think this audio is gonna be fine. I'm sure you can hear all the birds uh, making a racket in the background, but my main video platform is back to the 77D. I discovered two things about the 77D after I got it that make me just love it for video. One, it has two digital image stabilization settings. So coupled with an image stabilization lens and the digital image stabilization, you can get some very stable footage very, very easily. Um, second thing about it that, that I really love, the microphones are here. There's two microphones and they're front facing and they have, they have really, really done a good job on this. And in, in a quiet environment where there's not a lot of background noise, I can literally just, I have, I have done this. I have set the, the phone, I've set the camera on a filing cabinet and talked to it. No, nothing, no tripod, no nothing. And it's come out really, really good. Um, now, you know, windy day, these mics are gonna pick up all that wind noise. If there's fans blowing, if there's birds chirping, it'll pick all that up. They're, they're sensitive 
but they're, they're really high quality, really high quality. In order to get around that, in order to get around that, you need a directional microphone. And um, it just goes on the hot shoe, plugs into the side. I'm using the Tackstar SGC 598. So the SGC 598. And of course, even with the, the windscreen that's on it, uh, when you're out on a windy day, you're going to want to add a fur windscreen, a fur muff. People call these the dead cat, so you want to add the dead cat. Um, one of my friends who watches these videos, he says it looks like a, a a gray squirrel about to attack my face. So it was a, like the big, you know, so. Uh, so these are the, the main components. Anytime I'm talking to the lens. Now, why am I using the kit lens? Why? Because it came with a camera and it's a good lens. It's a, it's a 18 to 55 and it is the STM version. Now, Canon makes a couple of 18 to 55s. The STM version is the one that focuses without making a noise. So uh, you don't want to hear you don't want to hear the focus click 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 click. The other lens that I use for video is never with the audio intended to use the audio because you do hear the clicks. Is the portrait lens that I use the 1.4 the EF 1.4. 50 millimeter. Now, when you convert through a crop sensor, the 50 millimeter lens approaches the 85 millimeter mark, which Peter McKinnon says that the Canon 1.4 85 millimeter is the king of B roll. When you couple this lens with the digital image stabilization, you can get really smooth handheld video. No, I don't have a gimbal for this camera. So, I'm going to show you some video that I'm, I'm, I just took uh, beforehand using this lens to do some b-roll of see, these flowers that you can't see and you can see that it is very adequate um, the stabilization from the camera the digital stabilization and and the reason that this lens is so valuable for b-roll is that depth of field you can run it down to two two five two eight and you can get some really fantastic depth of field uh, isolation and then it also goes up to f22 so if you wanted to like take the whole flower bed all at once i didn't do that so that's the the b-roll lens i use a must have if you're going to be shooting video okay so the rule for video is double your frame rate for your for your shutter speed so that means if you're shooting at 23 frames per second 24 frames per second 23 9, 7, 6. so if you're doing 24 frames per second, you need to be around 48 for your shutter speed. So I shoot at 50. So if you're shooting at 50 shutter speed on a day like today, you have got to have a neutral density filter. And if you're going to try to shoot it at, you know, F, at F2 or F2.8, you're going to need to, to, so a neutral density filter is a lot like sunglasses for your camera. Now, I went and bought the 77 millimeter. I don't have any 77 millimeter lenses. So I got the step down rings. And the step down rings allow me to put this big old filter on my smaller lenses. Uh, none of my lenses are 77 millimeter, but by getting the largest size of those, and then the step down rings are just like not expensive at all. So I can use I can use the step down ring on uh, these other other uh, filter mounts so it works on both these lenses and if I'm doing you know interview I've got this lens with the uh, step down rings and the ND filter on it if I'm shooting b-roll it's this lens step down filters ND, ND filter so these are this is pretty much my setup for video with the microphone this camera this lens and then I have uh, the grill pod that I can use and like I said I put the I put the same mount on my Manfrotto pie, uh, tripod, so uh, which whatever I need to do, I've got it covered and very simply covered. So that is my setup for video. I always have, um, there's a bunch of things in the bag I keep in here all the time. I'll talk about those uh, at the end. But one thing I keep in the bag is my GoPro. <laughs> I always forget that I have it. And and I always forget to mention that I have, and I always like, oh, I should have got a GoPro out. That would have been awesome. I could have done like some shots from under the car. 
but uh, th this is, you know, it it's a Hero 3, uh, and it, it just adds some cool, some cool angles. I've used it recently, uh, stuck it on the side of the Tahoe as I was driving down the road. <laughs> There's been some kind of cool footage. So there's the, uh, the, the GoPro. Um, I'd like to get into the habit of using it more. I've said that in another video, uh, but it's there. It's, it does a lot of really good stuff. It'll, it does 4K video, it does time lapse, anyway. All right, that is anything else worth mentioning for video. Uh, let's move on to talk about um, portrait work anybody who's watching comment down what do you have in your bag what should I have in mind that you that, that, that I'm that I left out I may have it and just forgot to mention it. but what do you what what is missing from my camera bag um, likes comments share this video I uh, hope you enjoyed it um, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next episode